to the fifth episode in which we are looking at the 2020 GCE Mathematics Paper 1. So in the first four episodes we covered question 1 through 11. So today we are starting with question 12 and it leads. A function f is defined by f of x equals 2x minus 5. Find the inverse of f of x and thus a. Then to start with a what we do is basically what we have is let y be equal to f of x. So whatever there is f of x in this function we replace with y. So our function becomes y is equal to basically 2x minus 5. Then the next step is to make x the subject of the formula. So the first thing that we do is we take 5 to the other side such that it becomes y plus because x has uh, negative 5 has crossed the equal sign it becomes a positive 2x. Then we divide by 2, we divide by 2. So we mean we see uh, basically uh, x is equal to y plus 5 over 2. Then at this point, once you do that, what you do is now you replace. So you replace uh, f of x, okay, f of x with it. Then you put this one, which is the inverse, f to the power negative 1. Then this one is equal to. So whatever there is x, we replace with it, the inverse function, which is the opposite of f of x. Then whatever there is y in this function, to the right hand side here, whatever there is y, you pull place it with x, because it's a function of x. So we have x plus 5 over 2 as our f to the power negative 1 of x, which is the inverse. So basically, this is how you answer this one to get the one mark. Let us go to b. So B leads, find F of the F index to F index of 2. So what you do is in this original function, in this original function, F of uh, the inverse of X means that in this original function, whatever there is X, we replace with this. So what we get is basically 2, then Whatever there is x, we replace with e, the inverse function, you see, like this. Then minus, we continue with a 5. Then we know what this is, is this one. Then, so what we have is basically 2 multiplied by, so what we have is basically x plus 5 over 2, then minus 5. Then uh, this, this 2 and this 2 cancels, so it means with basically x plus 5 minus 5 so basically we get x so this one basically is equal to just x okay then but we are being requested to find f of 2 so now what we do now is in this function f of then negative so there we are putting now a 2 so now what it means is whatever there is x here, we are putting a 2. So what it means we have now, whatever there is x, we put a 2. So basically this is equal to 2. So our answer here is a 2 as our answer. Let us go to C. C is asking us to find the value of uh, f of f of x is equal to x. So what this implies is when you come to this function, then in this function, whatever there is x, we replace with f of x. So what we have is basically f of uh, f of this is equal to, so we have 2 multiplied by f of x. Remember in this function, whatever there is 2x, we replace with this, then minus 5. Then what is f of x? f of x is the entire function, this one. So it will be 2 multiplied by 2x minus minus 5 then minus 5 so we get basically 4x then 2 multiplied by neg negative 5 is negative 10 then negative 5 then we end up with basically 4x minus 15 as our f of f of x as our function so there we get that but this should be equated to x then so for x so what it, this means it means we have 4x just create a bit of so 4x 
minus 15 is equal to basically x that's what it means remember this is what we found here then equal to x so what it means is 4x minus when the x crosses the equal sign becomes a negative so minus then equals then this one the 15 goes the other way it becomes a negative it becomes a positive sorry so we have a plus 15 so what we have is 3x is equal to 15 then we divide by 3 we divide by 3 so x is equal to 5 so that's how you solve this question to get the uh, two marks okay so let us move to question 13 so question 13 is uh, leads the diagram uh, below shows two figures p and q on the x or y plane describe fully the single transformation that maps p on to q so let me just try to zoom a bit so that we're able to see properly so what you notice here is we notice that this side this side is this side then this side is this side this side is this side so the sides are are facing each other properly so what it this would mean is possibly this the first thing that we think of is a uh, reflection so if what would be the, the reflection so normally if you had a ruler so if you had the ruler you would draw the the you could connect these two points so you've seen these two points and these two points what you notice here is once i draw a line like this this will be at the center such that this distance we measure with a ruler they will be equal this distance would be equal okay these distances would be equal to each other and then thus is c a reflection so now this line the middle line is a y equals two so this would mean is a reflection okay so the first thing you need to understand the type of transmission is a reflection then reflection you need to describe it with the miller line so what's the miller line the miller line is a middle point this one such that this is equal and this is equal so the miller line is y is equal to 2 which is the miller line so this is how you answer this part of the question then let us go to part b so part b leads given that y is equal to so what you're saying is y is equal to 2x to the power 3 minus 4 over x to the power 2 find dy dx so basically find the change in y as a change as a result of change in x so this function can be written as y is equal to 2x to the power 3 minus 4x to the power negative 2 remember if you have 1 over a to the power x it's the same as a to the power negative x then from this side we can differentiate remember the principle of differentiation or the rule you reduce the power by 1 so you multiply the power by the the, the 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 coefficient then reduce the power by one so it's two multiplied by three then x to the power three minus one then the same we have negative two here so it's basically four multiplied by negative two then x to the power negative two minus one then what we get is six uh two two times three is six so six to the power two then minus so we have negative times negative 2 times negative 4 is a plus so we have plus 8 then x to the power negative 2 minus negative 1 so we have negative 3 so if you look at that you end up with a basically 6 x to the power 2 then plus 8 x to the power 3 as our answer so basically this is how you get the other two marks from question 13 to ensure that you get the maximum possible results okay so thank you for joining me on this episode please join me in the next episode as i look at question e, uh, 14 and 15 going forward thank you very much